If water has been leaking around the base of the toilet, it may have over time affected the subflooring, rotting the wood and causing mold damage in the house. In order to accurately determine the condition of the wooden subflooring, the toilet needs to be removed and the wax ring cleaned so that the flange and wooden subflooring can be inspected closely. During the original construction, ABS glue is applied to the toilet flange and it is inserted into the sewer inlet. The flange is then screwed into the wooden subflooring through the flange's mounting holes. Hard flooring is then installed to the base of the sewer inlet or carpet only to the base of the toilet. The wax ring is then installed and the toilet is mounted over the flange. When there is a prolonged exposure of water to this area, the flange can deteriorate and the wax ring and subflooring can rot out. This causes the flange to fail to work correctly. There are two ways to repair the damaged flange, depending on the condition of the subflooring. First, if the subflooring is still in good condition, then a flange repair ring can be installed over the top of the existing flange. The second way is to cut out the damaged flange and subflooring and replace them both completely. To establish which of these techniques to use, the toilet flange and subflooring need to be inspected carefully. The wooden subflooring should be free of dry rot, mold, or any other moisture related conditions. If the subflooring is only wet and the flange is in good condition, then allow the subflooring to dry out completely before remounting the toilet. If the subflooring is damaged and coming apart, then it should be cut out completely and replaced before the toilet is remounted. Next, inspect the toilet flange. The metal ring should not be rusted or have any corrosion present. The flange's mounting channel should not be bent outward or appear broken. The flange itself must be securely mounted to the wooden subflooring. If the toilet flange is the only item that needs to be replaced, then the following parts should be purchased at a hardware or plumbing supply store. The first part is a flange repair ring. The repair ring will only be effective if it is installed over undamaged subflooring. Damaged subflooring will not hold the repair ring tightly to the floor. Additional parts are some outside one and one half inch deck screws to secure the new flange to the wooden subflooring, a new wax ring that has a plastic lip and toilet mounting bolts. Generally mounting bolts come included with the wax ring.